Hey Vols, welcome to another episode of Torchlight Sports. On Saturday, the Vols hosted the South Carolina Gamecocks in Neyland Stadium and came up short for the second week in a row. Redshirt freshman Jarek Guarantano made his first start as quarterback, having only made appearances in three other games this season. In the first quarter, the Vols had 133 yards of total offense, which is the most the team has had in the first quarter all season. The game began with Guarantano making a pass to wide receiver Josh Smith to gain 10 yards, then using a 24-yard rush by John Kelly and an 11-yard gain by Guarantano, the Vols set up freshman kicker Brent Simaglia for a 29-yard field goal, putting Tennessee up 3-0. Career-long rushes of 30 yards by freshman running back Ty Chandler and 13 yards by Quinton Dorbity put the Vols on the 20-yard line, allowing Samaglia to make a second field goal, advancing their lead 6-0. Early in the second quarter, the Gamecocks scored a field goal to raise the score 6-3. UT gained 51 yards in 11 plays and set up Samaglia to score another field goal, which put the Vols ahead 9-3 going into the half. Later in the third quarter, running back A.J. Turner of South Carolina scored a touchdown to tie the game at 9. South Carolina then scored their second field goal with 5 minutes left, putting the Gamecocks up 12-9. Tennessee allowed the Gamecocks to get within field goal distance once again, which extended their lead 15-9. After the game, Coach Butch Jones said, I'm really proud of our players. I thought they showed some resolve, some resiliency. We had an opportunity to win the football game and obviously came up short. Following the game, we turned to Twitter to see what UT fans had to say about Saturday's loss. At Withrow Zone said, I stand by what I said last week. If Butch Jones is allowed to continue to coach, this program will have its first eight-loss season ever. At Mr. Rutherford said, Well, did we just watch Butch Jones' last game as UT's head coach? At Clay Travis said, Butch Jones had two weeks to prepare for South Carolina, and Tennessee has negative offensive yardage in the second half. At Josh Eastman 23 said, Well, until we fire Big Head at UT Coach Jones, I'm going with Roll Tide. With a 0-3 record in the SEC, it is safe to say Coach Butch Jones is in the hot seat once again as the Vols prepare to take on the number one University of Alabama on Saturday in Tuscaloosa. On Friday, the women's soccer team took on the University of Georgia this past week here in Knoxville in front of a crowd of 2,355, the second largest the Regal Soccer Stadium has ever seen. The Vols scored a single goal from junior Khadija Shaw in the first half. However, they quickly gained momentum in the second half with goals from junior Anna Bialzak and sophomore Katie Cousins, and another goal from Shaw. The Volunteers took the 4-0 victory over the Bulldogs, advancing their record to 13-1-1 their ranking, and raising their ranking to number 8. This Sunday is their last home game of the season, and they will be hosting the University of Florida at 1 p.m. The women's volleyball team also had a successful week at home as they defeated the Missouri Tigers 3-1 on Sunday. Stars of the game include Victoria Treber, Erica Treber, I'm sorry, who finished with 15 kills and 6 blocks, as well as Alyssa Andrino with 12 kills and 6 blocks. Sedona Hansen completed her 1500th assist of the season. The Vols won the first set 25-22. They also took the second set 25-20. And although the Tigers won the third set 25-17, the Lady Vols battled through the fourth set, winning 25-21 and winning the overall match 3-1. The volleyball team will travel to Kentucky to take on the Wildcats on Sunday. It's a busy and important week for sports here on Rocky Top. Good luck to all of our Vols in this week's competitions. Keep up to date with us on social media at TorchlightUTK. Shining light on UTK.